So this is uh, this is Sybil um, by Nina Freeman. Um, brand new game just came out this morning. So let's check it out. So I have uh, in my my fictional desktop of magic tearful magical girl, um, and I've got some some desktop. I have some items that I can I can check out. I've got some folders. Um, so let's take a look. Let's see what we um, let's see what we have on our desktop. Kawaii has perished. Press space bar to continue. The party is over. Press spacebar to continue. Seriously, get out. Press spacebar to continue. Heaven is a place on that Habo Hotel, but not on Earth. Heaven is definitely not on the bus. It's not in Philly, and it's not in the Matrix. I'd rather go to the Matrix than Heaven anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some grainy, grainy like '90s party photos. So it's interesting for me. Like I'm, I'm particularly excited about um, ex exploring this game because if you watched me play um, Beginner's Guide, part of what I, uh, I found so frustrating about it was that it wasn't autobiographical enough. And now I'm feeling like uh, there's this sense of, um, like. Like, I mean, the whole game is is intended, I think, to be a little voyeuristic, but it feels weird. I actually like. I feel like I'm I'm digging through somebody's uh, desktop uh, and shouldn't be, um, especially because of the content, right? It's like prom photos and someone's poetry. Um, yeah, we arrive and I kick the empty Budweiser cans off the steps. They clatter and settle around the fire hydrant, spewing street water. Patrick opens the front door. The noise is sticky. We go up to the roof and lean over the edge about to fall. I drank most of Rob's ginger ale due to a three-day run of alcohol-induced dehydration, during which I nearly whited out on the J-train. There was a cold sweat, and it was like somebody turned the volume down. Angry northern lights swam in my vision, blurring the MTA don't slip sign. I leaned against a pole. Everything was too loud. Party poem one dot txt. And I think about, you know, the kind of, like, I would, I would never be able to make something like this. Like, I am a, a furious deleter of the past versions of me. So a 19-year-old version of me doesn't survive enough to, to archive like this. So it's, it's interesting that it's, like, exposing yourself like this by making a game out of it. I think it's fascinating. Chat log Feb. Okay. Becca, what ended up happening last night? You never texted me after like 1 a.m. Oh, geez, I went home with that 23 year old blonde guy from Linear Algebra. Haha, <laughs> wow. Ichi is 23 too. Oh, that Valtimiri guy? I thought he was our age. Nah. Did you have sex? Obviously. It was so awkward, though. I bit the inside of my cheek while we were on his couch eating some snacks, and I was like, ow. And he was like, what's wrong? And I said, I hurt my mouth. And he said, want me to make it feel better? And I was like, lol, what? In my head, but obviously IRL, I said something dumb. I forget. But like, could you be more obvious, lol? Then he kissed me. Oh my god, amazing. What was the sex like? I'm so jealous. I want to have sex, too. Don't tell me you haven't had sex before. I have not. X mouth smiley. Oh my god, lol, we have to talk about this. I have class now, though. I'll come to your dorm after. Neko666. Uh, are you free on the 20th? I'm throwing a party. Hey, are there? Can you come to my party? Sorry, I was playing a game. Voltamiri, I assume. Yep. So, party, want to come help me set up? 
I can't that night. Sorry. Why? New Valtimiri stage is coming out. I know. I suck. Leave you room for once, Nina. Jesus Christ. Yep. Yep. I'm, I feel that. <sighs> being 19 and just being like, no, video games. It was role-playing games for me, but like, yep. Okay, here's Neko again. Nina, okay, I looked at the Ichi guy's picture and he's pretty hot. I get it now. I know. It's super weird because we've known each other for a while but only started talking a lot recently. Then he sent me that picture and I was like, what? You're hot? T I didn't tell him that though. I'm too shy, lol. But wow, he's so cute. I'm dying. <laughs> Are you still talking to him a lot? Yeah, we've been doing runs in Valtimiri alone. Usually he goes with a big group, so I'm pretty surprised he wants to hang out with just me. Aw, that's cute. I know. Aw, it's good. So I think that it's 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 cool. Um, so Nina, the, the creator of the game, and I are about, uh, we're of a similar age. Um, and this experience of like engaging with people on the internet and like having people not understand that, having people be like, but it's just the internet. I don't, why are you, why, why, like, it's weird. How do you know this person? Maybe they're like crazy or, you know, you, what do you mean you like met in Warcraft? That's, that's nuts. But, there was a, like there was a time when that was totally not okay or normal, right? Like you didn't you wouldn't do that, um, and people react that way. Let's take a look at uh, that website. Oh, cute character fan art. Oh yes, a sweet battle with the turtle men. This tiny person. Twelve, twenty, eight. Um, actually, I guess if Nina was nineteen in two thousand eight, I'm, I'm like five years. Older. I'm a little I'm I'm a little older. I mine my this this is like Final Fantasy Online era. I'm like war I'm like um uh EverQuest era. Um Hi hi, I know I haven't been posting much. I'm in my last year of high school, so things have been pretty busy. I think I'm gonna get good grades though, so that's good. I'm in an awesome independent study with Mrs. Faust. I'm reading Madame Bovary and Anna Karenina with her. They're such good books. Anyway, I wanna post because Mel and Britt sent me some of their old fan art. I'm gonna post on the site as I scan it, I think. I also have a lot of old sketchbooks, so maybe I'll go through these soon. Post my old stuff. It's a lot of Sailor Moon and Final Fantasy fan art, of course, lol. Kind of miss drawing fan art and writing fan fiction. That's it for now. Hopefully I'll start updating the site more soon. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm like six years older than you know. Yeah. Simply girl trying to find her way in a world of complications. Just a little info, even though you probably don't care. Ha ha. God, there's so, like, I don't know if I, like, like, looking at, looking at this stuff, like, just the way that this is written, um, you can feel the, the uncertainty in the text. Um, like, see, like this, this sentence, like, just a little info, even though you probably don't care. Ha ha. That, that, like, I'm gonna tell you about myself. Wait, you probably don't care about that. Haha, ha, I'm just joking. Like, ugh, don't, like, look at me. Don't look at me, please. Okay, now I feel uncomfortable because we're talking about you looking at me. The, the idea of the internet that, that sort of demands, um, exhibitionism, um, is, uh, is, is interesting because it puts you in that spotlight. It makes you feel like that, uh, unless you're, Oh my god, it's so cute. Unless you are someone who's really comfortable just kind of being out there. Pixelate your life. Old layout. Archive profile. Welcome to my personal site, lostmemories.net. I'm a girl and I'm 13. My name is Nina. I'm from the USA. I love doing web design and watching animes. Um, you could say I'm nice, intelligent, a dreamer, and sometimes I think I can be too nice, but you know, I'm blonde with blue-green, I think they look gray eyes. I guess that's all I have to say. So these are posts from... 
Oh, from a long time ago. Okay, so this is like, yeah, when she was 13. This is the archive of the old the old site. Sigh, another boring day. Well, not that boring now that I think about it. Okay, the funny thing today. My friend wanted to send a little high note to this kid who kept looking at us. My friend asked this guy who was sitting near him to give him the note and couldn't hear his name, so he kept saying, who? And these random names, and me and my friend were cracking up, but finally he got the name and my face was red because I laughed so hard, and I was really hot. My friend kept bugging me that I was blushing. It was funny, but then again, annoying. Also, at lunch, I thought I took a corn muffin, but it was a blueberry muffin with no blueberries. Okay, well, I gotta do my homework. Ta-ta. So I used to have a live journal when I was, you know, 15 or so. I, it is deleted now. Um, I, I have killed that version past Adam, but this stuff reminds me of that. <laughs> so this entry is to get all these problems I've been having off my back just to let you know. I've been hanging out with this friend a lot, and you see she's really pretty skinny and a cheerleader. So we went to water country yesterday and let's just say a lot of boys were flirting with her. We were at the stand there and she said to me, I really want that hat. And this guy, man in one of the games was wearing the hat she was talking about. So he says, oh, she must like me and then gives her the hat. So this made me a bit sad. You see, I've always had bad luck with guys and I don't think I'm very pretty. So I don't get flirted with very much, but my friend does a lot. And of course I envy her. I don't want to say jealous because that would make me sound really bad. Good, good work. Past Nina, baby Nina, you know the difference between envy and jealousy. Good job. <laughs> she even has all these guys who really like her and all that. It makes me think about how hopeless and alone I am in life. I've never had a boyfriend, and then almost all my other friends have. My parents don't have enough time to care about me, and now I have no friends. Like friends I would sit with at lunch. But this one girl, sigh. Well, I'm off to watch TV. I'm tired from getting so stressed. Bye-bye. So we're getting, um, I think the reason that these are in the game is to um, give us an understanding of kind of what came before we start to experience, because this is six, six years or so before um, the Nina that we are playing as. And so this is establishing sort of backstory for, uh, for these, this, her as a character. Um, you know, she like when she's 13, talking about the kinds of things that she desires, um, the way she feels about her relationships with her friends. It's trying to set her up as a as a character um, for the uh, for the game that we're gonna play. Um, let's see what she thinks about Final Fantasy X2. OMG! I finally got FF X2. It's so awesome. The new battle system is great, and I like how it's really light and funny. Both the music and how the story is starting out. Me, Mel, and Britt all went to the mall to get it, and on the flyer it said FF X2 is coming out on the 19th. So I think some people will go buy it tomorrow too. We got it and they had a normal guide and a special edition guide. It was $30. They even gave us a free poster of Yuna, Riku, and Pain. It's on the wall right next to my TV where I play FF10 too. Later I went to their house and we played it and that was fun. I've been working on a blinky for my name to use a signature at the end of each blog entry, you know? Are my blog entries boring? Because Butterfly Wishes Reviews said that my blog entries could use more emotion. I don't like to always write about that kind of stuff because what if someone in my school came and saw everything or something that hurt their feelings or got them mad? I don't want that to happen. Well, gotta go now. Ta-ta. Nina breathed at 6.50 p.m. Sorry, I have been too busy to blog these past couple days. Friday I did. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what happened on Friday. It's okay. It happens to everybody. Saturday, Val slept over, and Sunday I felt sick and just played Final Fantasy X-2 all day. The sleepover was awful. I felt so bad for Val. One, my PS2 broke, and two, my parents got into a big argument. I don't know how many times I apologized to her. Being a teenager sucks. I was so mad at my parents, I was shaking. Oh yeah, but later I did fix my PS2. So I, I got so worried. I had like no emotional expressions on my face. I was so devastated. The reason I was so devastated is because I don't have a DVD player, so all my expensive DVD sets would go to waste. I spent a lot of time on getting my on getting my FF10 too. I was wicked happy when it was fixed though. I think the reason I got sick on Sunday is because Saturday I was so stressed out. Today, I went over Mel and Brits, and we played some Final Fantasy X-2, and we watched Star Wars Episode Two. We got so hyper. We're jumping everywhere on the couch, on each other, etc. It was very funny. I can't wait till Thanksgiving. All the food will be so good. Well, I need to go do my homework now, so ta-ta. I need to jump off the walls. It's like five. Yesterday, I had, like, no homework, and that was nice. Then I had to go to the orthodontist. He said, the next appointment, I get my braces off. Yeah, get your braces off. I've been waiting so long for this, and I can wait a little longer. Then I feel like... FF102 and saw Gipple again. Haha, he said, yeah, me and Riku made quite the couple, and Riku totally freaked out. It was hilarious. But now I'm thinking that something went on between them in the past, because one, Payne pointed out how defensive Riku was acting towards this, and Riku was trying to convince Uni, lol, that he was lying. Ah, gotta go get the bus now. Nina ran to the bus at 6.52 p.m. 
God, I I miss being that into a video game. Teens have so much emotional energy. It's, it's, it sucks being an adult. <laughs> okay, so we looked at Misk. You notice how I did this subconsciously? I did this in in order to like avoid going to the selfies folder because it feels like the most like private part of what we're looking at. Like I've avoided these two because I'm feeling like nervous about um, like looking at them. Okay, let's do it. So high school. Oh, okay. So now we get to actually see the difference between like high school Nina and now. Oh, so little. Little cute teen face. Oh my god, I love her glasses. So cute. So here's here's nineteen year old Nina. So this is present Nina. I like your hair. Present Nina. I mean, not like the present now, the present of the game. It's a good look. Pretty into it. Ooh, for Ichi. So Ichi is Ichi is the hot dude from Valtimiri that we're 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 crushing on. So think about like the, we've talked about selfies a little bit in um, playing uh, Life is Strange and kind of what they are, uh, what they're about in terms of creating your own self-image um, and managing that image, especially when you're sharing those selfies either like on the internet or with people directly. So like let's let's compare right like a selfie that's ostensibly Nina just took for herself. Um, oh, that's so cute. Um, that she that she ostensibly took for herself, right? Not to send to anyone, and then this one that she chose to send to to Ichi. Like, look at the the difference of the way that they're posed, and um, what she is, uh, what she's trying to present in the in the different photos. You know, because taking a photo of yourself allows you to. Um, decide how you want to be uh, presented to the world. And in a way, if we take a step back, um, that's what this whole game is about, right? Uh, as in, not, not like from a thematic perspective, but creating a game like this. It's, a, it's presenting a, a facet or a side of uh, its creator uh, in a really direct way. Photo, poem, collage, homework, Prof. South, 2509, Nina Freeman. Sea salt gazelle, a blue canoe on cedar view I haven't seen in years. In June, we can eat marsh grass and capsize beside the sunfish. The river is broken by trees in a flood, black surface punctured by the leaves and sky. Swipe it, see how the water spreads like capillaries. Her poems have come a long way. A river view is beside, a river view is beside river view where they sell the best pizza anywhere and Christine will ring us up and not recognize me again. I sped up Argila Road, blasting music till my speakers broke in 10th grade. It won't matter with apple cider donuts in our mouths today. The beach is a self-conscious panorama of pitch pines, sand dunes, and an entry fee. I'll take you in for free if you promise to find me a single slice of sea glass. There are two high tides, and we'll stay for both if you swim out to the sandbar. Nearby are the rows of buoys, atlas points within our reach. For every handful of purple sand you find, for every sand dollar, we'll take another dip. Maybe you'll find a sea skate or a mermaid's purse. No one makes it to the edge of the beach, but we will. Periwinkle Coast, edged by shelves of barnacle, water's prism, a secret estuary. Hmm. Interesting, all of the the um the imagery is is ocean. Like it's it's about people uh, at like um, a seaside, but the the image isn't of that. The image is just a is a picture of Nina. So this is kind of the the like learning about the character phase. Recent photo post. Ha, ah, me at my first computer. I can't believe I found this picture. Still rocking the pink. Pretty into it. Okay, we have some photos. So this is just a desktop folder. It's my birthday. 
March 15, 2009. I'll be turning 19. Please join me for Pokeball-shaped cupcakes and friendship. Where? The lounge at Step Dorms on Fulton Street. When? 9 p.m. until... Eh? Okay, see you there, bye! Some friends? It's Nina and Brit. Here's Brit drinking a bubble tea. Mom's brutalist looking apartment. Ghost makes it look like it was shot from inside a car. Oh, I guess it was. Look, there's the, the windshield or the rearview mirror. Some pretty pitter, uh, patterns and, oh my god, okay. Saving the best for last. Let's see if this dude's as cute as Nina thinks he is. Oh, Ichi. What a heartthrob. Okay, all right. So yeah, like again, if you if you watch me play Beginner's Guide, let's compare and contrast this game. So all of these things are real. Those are real photographs of a real person. Um, it's not obviously the story that we're gonna explore is not based 100% on a real thing, but it's gonna be built out of real things. There's elements of um, of reality that are built into this to make it. It's it's made up of pieces of the real um, the the real world and. Let's compare and contrast because in Beginner's Guide, um, you know, it's it's the 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 creator was pre pretending to be themselves in a way that uh, feels different from this because we're kind of playing um, like Coda. If if Coda had decided to release the their games on their own, this might be that. This might have been that version of the Beginner's Guide. But um, you know, it's it's. We're, we're, we're being given permission, right? The game is about being given permission to explore Nina's youth through the game. And, you know, she's still in control of the narrative. She's still in control of uh, what's being given to us and, and has shaped that narrative on purpose. Um, let's see. Last night, Becca. Hey, Nina, I saw Todd and Mal making out at the party you skipped last night. I know you like that online game guy, but come on, stop skipping parties for him. Please come out with me tonight so we can address this new development in our totally fucked up friend group. I can't believe they made out. La 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 la. Okay. Todd and Mal. I don't care about them. I care about the internet. Let's go play a game. I wonder who's online. Voltamir. It's got a crystal. I will play. Hey, it's me. It's my cool avatar. Loading. Fern. Incoming call from Ichi. Oh god, already? Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Hey, what's up? Let's just private chat. Sick of all these fuckers in the main channel. <laughs> yeah, everyone's pretty rowdy today. Spazzing because Bulldog Hell is coming out tonight. They're gonna go line up at whatever store, which fucking sucks because now we can't do anything serious tonight. Uh, yeah. Oh, Ichi, you're so cool with your adult language. <sighs> Sibby, we should talk on the phone sometime. Oh, yeah, let's catch up. Haha, <laughs> kind of surprised. Okay, we replied to Rusher. I don't know who Rusher is, but... Uh, Giver guy. Hey, girl, how are things? I've been pretty busy. Ampule's been doing a lot lately. Everyone bowing to Ichi's whip as usual, I see. Ampule is our guild, I guess? Oh my god, Giver, stop, lol. Are you seriously defending him, lol? He is an ASS. Oh yeah, get around that language block. He's nice to me. Alright. Sib, want to do a Uriel run with me on Friday? Okay, see you then, girl. Ichi usually comes, but let's go just us. Girls' night out. Yes, I have so much I want to talk about with you. Guyan, where you at? Sorry, duoing with Ichi now. Oh my god, you're always with Ichi. Come on. Sorry, let's hang tomorrow, maybe. I want to hang now. Can I meet you after in high C or something? Maybe. I'll let you know what Ichi and I end up doing. 
Oh, replies already. All right. Ooh, something happened. Huh. Area. I just need your opinion on someone. Uh, y you know. Okay. So, we are in the area we logged off in. We can do some emoting. Let's see, can I emote? Ah, I see. Happy face. Oh, Sybil is angry. Okay, let's go. Let's continue exploring this zone. I love that you can hear, because we're, we're supposed to be Nina at the computer, um, we can hear the, the clicking of her mouse uh, while we play. Oh, I got more mail. Oh my god, who is it? Ooh, guild romance drama. Shh, we'll talk on Friday. Shut up. <laughs> chill, area, chill. We'll talk about it later. This game is really pretty. I mean, the game inside the game. So, um, what what are we learning about Ichi? Like, we've had... Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, don't talk about him. Uh, we've had two... Basically, two interactions with... Um, kind of with him, right? Like... We've interacted with him directly, um, and then we've had some people talk about him. Hey, buddy. Hey, we trashed that thing. Um, you know, we know that Nina likes him. Uh, we know that our friend thinks he's hot. Um, and we've had one voice conversation with him where he, I mean, he sounds like he's a 20-year-old dude. Like, he just was kind of like, kind of a little aggro. Okay, come back, dude. Oh, shit. I got an email. Bulldog Hill later. Hi, hi. Are you going to do the Bulldog Hill release tonight? I don't want to go alone. BTW, aren't you turning 19 in a few weeks? When are you planning the party? Hold on, Ichi. I gotta answer my email, man. Oh, yeah. Bulldog Hill. Time to give them hell. Again. Coming soon. Passive Unit 8. Cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Mel. I'm playing a game right now. Yeah, sorry, dude. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Guess you don't want to go out and waste your money on bullshit hell tonight. <laughs> Very funny. I barely even play other games anymore, honestly. Me neither. They're all crap anyways. It makes me kind of sad, though. I like playing through good story games. I don't know. Those are boring to me. They all have expiration dates. You, you play for 60 hours and that's it. At least with this game, you can play it for a long time without worrying that you'll have to find some new shit to buy. Yeah, I mean, the time you get out of an online game like this is a lot more. And you get to meet people. Yeah, I don't like most of the people I meet in here, though. Except for, like, you and a few others. I just like running shit, like, making people get organized for some fight or whatever. The big battles where everything's dependent on your ability to find the right guys to do the job. That's what I like. Did you notice? I mean, listen to the listen to the way that the two of them are talking. Um, the way that they're interacting. Um, oh God, there's so much stuff going on. Okay, I got an email. Oh, Rusher, won't your girlfriend get mad if we talk on the phone? All right, Rusher's girlfriend is jelly. Oh, they broke up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of busy right now. Wow. Harsh. Okay, I gotta look at the... Why did I let this guy into the ampule? Oh, E.G. Oh, hey. shit! been leading this ampule since it started. Oh, right? an ampule is a kind no, of field. some other dude was, but he quit. And he was crap anyways. We didn't become good until I whipped everyone's ass into shape. People really do listen to you. It's kind of amazing. I'm just really straightforward. Like, if people don't listen to me and then they fuck up, I make sure that they know they fucked up. You gotta get in people's faces. That's why they respect you. I'm glad I haven't messed up that bad yet. But still, don't be an idiot. You wouldn't yell at me? No. 
Really? I'm not gonna yell at a cute girl. <laughs> I'm not cute. Oh, teenage, teenage <laughs> I flirtation. Don't think I am. But that's really nice of you. Hey, uh, I know what you look like. You posted a picture of yourself on the forums. I mean, I know. That's a pretty flattering photo, though. You should send me a different picture. And then I can really decide if I think you're cute. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Send me a picture so I can judge you. <sighs> okay, I got more messages. I'm trying to fight squids. He's nice to me. Of course he is. Or a girl. Never Guyver, that's not true. Uh, it might it might be. Nice hit. I don't know this guy very well yet. <laughs> Nina, you idiot. Oh, thanks. Drive cars fast. I'm so not photogenic. You definitely are. I'm not photogenic. I look like a fucking ghost. <laughs> I thought you looked really nice in that photo you posted. You don't have to lie. I'll still like you even if you admit that I look like a ghost. <laughs> No. Yes, come on. Have you seen Guile? He's like a fucking yeah. bodybuilder. <laughs> yeah. What did I? Oh, more. There's so many messages. I gotta. Okay. When you start doing runs with Ichi more than me. Oh, Guile, you bodybuilder. What are you talking about? Stop it. Email coming to New York. Oh, Guile is coming to New York City. Want to meet up? Uh, no, I'm playing. I don't know. Game. He's like attractive, but not really my type. You know? I don't know. Dude's got perks. Sounds like you <laughs> like him, Ichi. Ew. I like when guys are more lean. <laughs> I guess so. Skinny ghosts? Get him! We almost. Oh, okay, good. Akka's hit points don't regenerate. What do you like? About girls? Yeah. Uh, I like, uh, curvy, skinny girls. Not like fat girls. I, I just like them when they're not real thin, you know? Girls gotta have some meat. <laughs> hmm. I wish I was skinnier. No way, you lose your boobs. Yeah, he's so awkward. Uh, I guess so. I mean, they're both awkward, Seriously, but like. You have to know that you've got a nice rack. Come on. <laughs> I mean, people have told me that before, but. As they should. <sighs> this guy. Oh, don't know how to take a compliment. <laughs> I really don't. I'm gonna just have to keep giving you compliments until you get used to it. So you notice that, that <laughs> nothing is really happening in the game? Like, we're doing the MMO honestly, thing, we're just running around clicking on stuff? But you can give it a shot. But it's about the conversation? Huh? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the silliest. What are we even doing right now? Being friends and whacking stuff online. It's so funny that that <laughs> happened exactly when I mentioned that. You see, even they know. Uh, oh, I got a picture here. I will tell you if I think you're cute, so send me a selfie. Here's one of mine. It's a trade. Look at you. So, how about that picture? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can send you one if you want. I'll have to take it first, though. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a picture for Ichi, but not right now, you know, because we're like, we're playing a game. Oh. Camera disconnected. New photos downloaded automatically. Did I disconnect my camera? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I never know what to wear when I take pictures of myself, though. I get so self-conscious. You can literally wear anything and I'll still probably like the picture. <laughs> really? I mean, not anything. Seriously. 
Okay. That last one was just of me standing there, so... Maybe I'll take more of a close-up this time? Yes, please. Oh, where's Akka? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, we gotta beat this boss. World boss. This thing's got like a million hit points. Selfies later. Be more serious about killing this boss, Ichi. Your DPS meter is so low right now. Nice hit. Come on. I want to I want to beat it. I want to show Ichi that I'm cool and tough. Yeah, we did it. Yes, you did. You're the best, Ichi. Two months later. All right. Ooh. All right. So two months after we sent that pic to Ichi, um, let's let's see what um, let's see what's going on. Some shopping notes. Ah, they're all Lacenza links. Yep. Okay. Um, so these, I still have all my site backups, oh, new, new layouts, oh my god, are we ready for the archive of anime? Anime and manga, I have too many favorites to list, so they all get their own special page. This is just the start of the list, I need to add more, but here's a few, Sailor Moon, Cardcaptor Sakura, Chobits, Utakata, Tokyo Mew Mew. Wish, Love Monster, Ultra Maniac, Kimi Shiki Iranai, Aichi Terizu, Baby, Atashiwa Bambi, Mint Na Bokura, Tiny Snow Fairy Sugar, Pita Ten, Dian Angel, Magic Knight Ray Earth, Fruits Basket, I love Fruits Basket, Super Gals, Full Moon, Wo Sagashite, Mermaid, Melody, Pizzi Pizzi Pitch, Good Morning Call, wow, there's a lot, she likes a lot of animes, uh, Miyuki Chan in Wonderland, Kitty Grade, Angelic Lair, Steel Angel Kurumi, Pokemon, Princess Tutu, Maburaho, Scrap Princess, Pre-Tier, Stelvia, Random Walk, and Aran High School Host Club. Fantastic. Characters, anime, manga. Mizuno Ami, Usagi, Daidoji Tomoyo, Chi, Ichigo, Sakura Nina, from Ultramaniac, Pepper, Shia, uh, Miroko, Hanon, Saki, Misty, yeah, Misty for life, Saria, I mean, okay. Riku, Yuffie, Momo, Jenghua, and Tails. Tails! <laughs> it's not a strong end to that list, Nina. Tails! Everybody knows Knuckles is the best. Oh, that's so cute. So this stuff is from when she was 17. Um... I think it's really interesting. I did a lot of this too as a teenager where you define yourself by the stuff that you like. Where you're like, and adults do this. I, I mean, I still do it. Where you're like, let me get to know you. Okay, cool. What media do you consume? What media do we both like together and can talk about? Let's, let's, let's talk about the things that we, we absorb together. Um, yeah. Interesting. Archive. Life. Okay, profile. Yeah, this is the one I want to read. Okay. Stats or something. It's just like there's, again, that like that reinforcement of like, I'm not really comfortable talking about myself. Um, stats or whatever. Nina, girl, March 15th, Pisces, 
Finnish, Irish, Italian, Spanish, English. Five, six, almost five, seven. Hey, me too. Dirty blonde, blue, green eyes, Massachusetts, USA. Idols, Kate Winslet, Scarlett Johansson. Oh yeah. Desired College, NYU, or Juilliard. Teenage dreams, teenage dreams, man. Misc and blog. Yeah, let's check this out. Oh, send to mom. Okay, cosmo.txt. Sometimes I wish I was a GeoCities page. Oh my god, I love this already. This poem is so good. Sometimes I wish I was a GeoCities page, unconscious and safe on a California hard drive. I think that might be my favorite thing I've ever read in a game. Um, sometimes I wish I was a GeoCities page, unconscious and safe on a California hard drive. Me too. Is there a plastic surgery for that? Sigh. I'm just trying to be normal. And according to Cosmo, that requires chunky as heck mascara. They say, trip and fall into his chest. Say, damn, your pecs are harder than a solid brick wall. And then, finally, remember to breathe when making out. Okay, this is really good. So in a moment of vanity, I posted a new forum of myself on the forums. Yeah, it's hot. So far, only girls and Russia have commented on it, specifically my boobs. I didn't even realize they were so uh, obvious, but what can I say? I have nice boobs. So I send Essa a tell, and she's like, I'm mad at you. I do a double take and ask what the hell's wrong. She was mad because Russia was checking out my boobs in the photo I posted. Apparently, he, like a dumbass, commented on them to her, so she got mad. I didn't say this, of course, but just wanted to be like, so why the fuck are you mad at me? Is this some weird jealousy issue? I definitely didn't expect to cause drama by posting a photo, but... There you go. Huh, okay. Blog 7 draft. This particular entry be focused on my discovery of Valtimiri, which has been gnawing away at my soul since the day I bought it, April 16, 2005. At the ripe age of 15, I picked up the game that would, as strange as it sounds, change my life forever. I hate to think of a video game as being life-changing, but that's the truth of it. I recall not being too intrigued at first, but going to a friend's house to see what it was all about when they bought it. It seemed kind of boring until my friend Mel let me play her character. I wandered around and actually ended up talking to a real player, Reza, and then I got really excited. I was pretty much hijacking the game from Mel and chatting away. It was silly. I was determined to play this game after that. It was just so fun to talk to all those random people. Video games and the prospect of making new friends? How could I resist? Okay. Oh, it's Tom birthday? I was like, what is Tomb Day? Happy birthday, Tom, with your blue stuff everywhere. Oh, that's a nice photo. And then it was snowing. Happy Tom Day. So I send those to mom. Something seems to have happened in August. And then some chat logs. Okay, let's see what we were chatting about with who. Cat Mimi 5. Hey, Nina, this is Al. Becca, give me your screen name. I'm in the same dorm, lol. Hey, I'm not sure we met before. With all... Oh, it's Cat Meme. Cat Meme 5. With all of our similar friends, I'm sure we've been in the same room and just didn't know it. Haha, uh -huh, fair. So what does Nina Freeman do besides be a cutie? Hobbies? Jorbs? Well, I'm at work now. I work in the CS department. I mostly hang out and play Voltimiri. It's empty today. What do you do? Eat donuts? Lol, JK, I'm a student aide. But I want to tell you something funny. I had a dream that you and my friend were sunbathing on the beach and some dudes were trying to see you naked with binoculars. Then the British police came out, but instead of arresting them, they just yelled your name and ran. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, I think it's my love of beaches, great butts, me being a total perv, and my irrational fear of British police. Awkward sweat drop. Oh, boy. So this is a pretty typical, like, dudes on the internet thing to do. Like... Hi, we don't really know each other, but I'm going to tell you that I had a dream about you and kind of like vaguely generally like sexualize you in a weird way. Like, let's talk about like how you're a cutie and uh, also you have a great butt and I had this dream about you and you were naked. I'm kind of testing the water to see if you like reply in a positive way to this kind of attention. Uh, God. So playing this like... It's making me feel like like I'm I'm feeling like nervous or or uncomfortable about the idea that I was ever like that or might still be in any possible way. Uh it's oh, Oops, sorry. Yeah, there we go. It's just the uh, it's uncomfortable. Teens. 
Remember when you went on stage for that weird honor ceremony last month and you stuck your phone in your bra? Yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick my phone in my bra when I go on stage for that poetry award. Cute. I was terrified it would fall out on stage, but I was okay. Good. I'm following in your footsteps by putting your phone in your bra. Yep. Those are my footsteps? Oh my god, who am I? Ugh. Meanwhile. <laughs> lol. I need to paint my toenails. That's all I can think about. All I can think about is how badly I need to have sex with Blake. Ooh. Yeah, when is he going to come to NYC? I don't know. Maybe I'll go to Cali. Lol. Is Blake Ichi's real name? Becca. Okay, so I logged on to Valtimiri to play Uriel because it just came out. Yay, do you like it? It was cool, but I was hanging in a crew with Ichi and he wouldn't shut the fuck up about you. Laugh my ass off. Really? Yeah, so stop pretending he doesn't like you. He obviously does. I guess so. I don't know. I never liked someone so much this, uh, this much. I'm pretty nervous. What if I'm misreading him? I don't know. I don't want to mess this up. You'll be fine. He def likes you. He def likes me. Okay, well... Good. Let's go to the picks folder. Actually, let's read this draft first. Homework draft for Prof South. If I were to meet you and walk, and we were to walk in the bitter cold and have no hats, and we were to find that bookstore I was looking for, and we were able to walk the wrong way and take the wrong street, but finally find the subway, and it's right there, and we were to sit across and not look at each other, but you move and sit next to me. And we were to get off right after and not get lost. We were to walk to our place and kiss after a while, but... I don't know, and we're going to go to Zab's and eat cake. It was really good, and we were to look up at the stars like eyes watching us, watching our every move. We were to go home to our separate homes and look out at those stars watching us, tiny sand dollars stuck far. Photo poetry. Okay, let's... Again, I saved the, the one I'm, I'm most like nervous about for last. Cute pink hair. Still got that pink hair. So these are older photos. Somber looking, Nina. Pictures of people's feet. This photo reminds me of um, uh, Lost in Translation. Um, actually, the whole aesthetic of this is kind of Lost in Translation-y. But uh, where she's talking about how she picked up photography and you know, he, uh, uh, Bill Murray is like, what did you take photos of? And um, she says, oh, you know, horses, Pictures of my feet, that kind of thing. Um, some some old photos that we saved. <laughs> old desk. That Hello Kitty mouse pad. All right. Sort of sexy picture. Forum pic. Is this this is the picture we put on the forum that people obsessed over? I hope not. Also, look how long her hair is. All right, let's let's see. Okay, so we've seen all this stuff. Let's take a look at high school. Yeah, so these are the blah <laughs> cute braces, homework draft. Oh man, being a teen. The neck, come ride with us, says the blonde with Corolla keys. Tea needs to be tasted with ice and strawberry glaze. I think that's how that's pronounced. My French is terrible. My cell phone vibrates in the sun, which is in the sky awake as summer. Soon the seagulls will fall down under the towels and rake the sand with their beaks for scraps. One will swallow a rock and digest it neatly. A single wave on the sea is pencil thin from the rocks to the long peninsula. Weather veins in the wind arc, which is the serpentine wind lifting a kite from the hands of Janie on the beach in her towel. Okay. BW test. Okay, so these are pictures that I took for Ichi. For Ichi pick. Better. Meh, maybe. I feel like based on what we know about this guy, he doesn't deserve our picks. <laughs> Throwback Thursday, my B day last month. Okay. For Sibby. Okay, so he's sending us photos too. But where's where's our photos of Ichi in his underpants? Where's sexy flexy Ichi? 
This doesn't seem reciprocal. <laughs> Lol, dad. <laughs> Well, let's check our email, because it's been two months. Here we go. Hey, Nina, here's the site I said I'd send you. Lacenza.com. I got the pink thong bra set I showed you from there. I'm sure it'd make Ichi happy. And then poem edits. Hey, Nina, it's Becca. I like your poem a lot. Thanks for sending it to me. I don't have much structural feedback. I just thought there were some extra pieces you could edit out. Did you end up sending it to Ichi? I bet he'd like it. Ah, uh, cool. OK, so Becca helped me with my homework draft. Buying cute underpants, taking sexy pictures. Let's go see who's online. Whew. Voltamiri. <sighs> so slow. That's cute. Oh god. Already. Hey. I'm sorry I missed your call last night. It's okay. Okay. The little oh boy. So Rusher is the dude that I got in trouble. All together in a while. For yeah, looking at my picture. All the crystals. It's like some fucking Final Fantasy game. Don't talk shit about Final Fantasy. I kind of like it actually. Want to do a run together? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check my email first, Ichi. So chill your chill what your jets. Yesterday? When I logged off, some school friends wanted to hang out. Lame. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> okay, Rusher. So Russia got in trouble for looking at my pictures, and this email starts with the words, the little pink. Okay, good. <laughs> Did you get that link I sent you on AIM last night? It's an anime you might like. Yeah, I think that was one of the VAs was in Sailor Moon. The little pink-haired one looks just like you. I always do my best to look anime. Me too. Lol, hi, Guyver. What's up? Er hot. Ha ha ha, thanks. Fire S showed me a pic of you. The one I put on our forums that everyone saw? Ah, uh, Sib, Ichi never shuts up about you, lol. He was talking to me with, about, about me to you? What did he say? Just gushing about how chill you are compared to other girls. What does that mean? See? That's what I said! <laughs> what does it mean? I'm so chill. We're chill, everybody. We're chill. We really need to meet up next time I'm in New York. I know, sorry I keep canceling. I don't like you. Stop being so busy. I'll be in town next weekend if you're free. <laughs> Depends on what Ichi has the ampule doing. Also, yeah, that other girl's bullshit, like ways of separating uh, a, a woman from other women to try to like isolate her as an object is a fucked up thing that dudes do sometimes. That might not be what he's trying to do here, but that's definitely a thing that people do. Did you see the picture I put up on the forums? Yeah, were you at a baseball game? Yeah, people putting up pictures of themselves on their forums back before Facebook was really like a popular thing. I did that. I definitely did that. There's old photos of me on my EverQuest forum buried in the internet somewhere. Alright, let's do it. Is that a door? Oh god. Oh, hi, Eiji. Let's fight these doors! I never liked Jim Morrison anyway. Oh, I got mail. Hold on. Fight it. Hit yourself. Yeah, Cubs game. It was a while ago. Cool rusher. I still have that Cubs sweatshirt you sent me. A 
So. Oh, I got an email. Excuse me. Catching up last night was the best. Brad did end up calling me. Apologize for being such an ass. I wish he would just leave me alone. He really doesn't get that we're done. Want to hang out tonight? I have no homework. No, I have computer stuff to do. They basically wanted to gossip about poetry class and their recent breakups. Oh. Forever. So, there's a contrast. Breakups sound shitty. Yeah. Like, the email that I got... Even had a boyfriend. The email that I got was like... Seriously? It was really nice to hang out last night. And then I'm kind of talking it's shit in front of Ichi. <laughs> you always say that. It's true. You're like the only guy on Earth that thinks I'm hot. Looks like I've got no competition then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the idea is that the MMO is a little quiet. Like, that they play it because... Not because it's like super popular, but because they love it. What about it. your breakups? Watching them kind of like feel each other out is interesting. Nada. I've never had a girlfriend. Wow. I'm pretty surprised. Don't be on the Samsa. Whoa! No. Is it Gregor Samsa? Bye. Bye, Samsa. Nice hit. Uh, attack enemies as a team to lure the boss out. I see. So that's how it works. So as we, as long as I'm with Ichi attacking things, uh, my snare meter will build up and then the boss will come out. Also, I have emails to check. Okay, just let's fight the boss. Okay. All right. Do you ever wear it? Sometimes. It's not really my style. Like, you're down to log on for runs whenever. He said, you get shit done. You're chill. Yeah, I've been getting online for every run lately. Because I want to hang out with Ichi. And his approval is important to me. I can definitely, I can definitely feel that, like, I don't know if you've experienced this, but that, that, like, playing games with a person but not really interacting with them, but just being around them, just being like, yep, we're doing a thing together, we are existing in the same space, and kind of talking, I think, t like, TeamSpeak servers for guilds get like this sometimes, or, like, group chats in, in World of Warcraft. Like, that's been my experience, where it's like, okay, a bunch of people are online, some of them are kind of doing a thing together, but you're only semi-engaging. Um, I kind of like that kind of socializing. Ichi kind of ruins it when he's all flirty with my business when I'm trying to, trying to play games. Okay, I'll check my stuff. No, he said it's a special one from a while ago. Hey, hold the fucking phone. Fire showed me a pic of you, the one I put on our forums. No, it's a special one of you from a while ago. Ah, oh, that gives me a nervous feeling. What are you talking about? Sounds like you two have been on the phone a lot, too. Was Ichi talking about me? We yeah, have been talking on the phone a lot. It's nice. Cute little cat smiley. Gotta look at the emails. New post on Blue Snake Forum. Real life pics. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can play this game and... I can play this game and look at this post at the same time. I can alt tab. Favorite of mine ATM, so posting that. Oh, EG. Ah. Alright. I think I would have had a huge crush on you if we'd met sooner, honestly. In like high school or whatever. Yeah. No guys ever liked me back then. I was too nerdy. Well, I had no taste. Would have been? <laughs> I doubt that.
That's a thing that I think a lot of introverted people do. Oh, there you go. His name is Blake. Um, do you think I did good in Ecotorso the other day? You did good. Why do you always ask me if you're good at the game? You're way better than other girls in the MPO. See, I'm chill and I'm better than other girls at this game. I'm the best. I'm the specialist one. You're a pro. I'm not that great. Talk to anyone else offline like this? No. You. No. What is it about Ichi as a character that is making us feel so like wary of him? Like I didn't come into the game expecting to feel like anxious about the things he's saying. But I'm finding myself definitely, like, what is it about that, like, vibe that I'm getting? You know, is it just the stuff he's saying? Like, there's something about this interaction that makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, uh, it's a sexy pic you sent him. Wow, what the fuck? Why did he show you? Yeah, that's not cool. Ah, uh, God. Here's a rule, everybody. If someone sends you a sexy picture of themselves, it's not for anyone else. It's for you. Don't show people. It's a dick move. Uh, God. Oh, come on. You can take a break for one day. Getting barraged on all sides by dudes trying to get our attention. A new price alert. You asked us to email you in the following flight. Costs less than $250. Round trip, New York to LA. Fly with Virgin America. Only one seat left at this price. I kind of wish we lived closer. Ah, the conversation prompts are so good. Like the fact, oh, I love that. Like you get an email and it makes Nina think of a thing and then and then she says it to, to Ichi. Want to meet up with me? Right, like we're having this conversation because I saw the, like it's all scripted events, but like I saw the, um, the notification and I'm asking him to feel out the idea of whether I should, also notice it says Blake now instead of Ichi. I bet you have so many people in the game to talk to, though. <laughs> you always say that, but I feel like Lenore is way cooler than me. Nina, have you ever seen her picture? Oh, Ichi. You? Why? <laughs> she sent me one the other day. Oh, really? Ah, oh, teenage feels. Your face is. My face is pretty normal. If Where's that boss? Gorgeous, then yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Oh boy. Model or That's true. She was. I look more like my dad, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. My parents met on the beach. Sounds sweet. <laughs> it's ridiculous. My mom was walking down the beach in her red bikini when my dad saw her from his boat. I guess he was like, whoa, check out that babe. So he left his friends and swam in to talk to her. What a dude. I know. He asked her out on a date. She was really impressed that he swam all the way in from his boat to say hello. So she said, okay. That's a pretty crazy story. Isn't it? I'm not nearly on that level with girls. I'm shit at talking to people in general. Really? Oh man. You're so good. They're both with so they're both though. yeah, they're both talking shit about themselves so that it gives the other person space to compliment them. Um because they're they're both like they're both pretty insecure and that's just like a thing that teens do that like people who are still kind of like working their way around interacting with other people, the idea that like being like I'm not that good 
tell me that I'm good, please, so I don't feel bad about myself. Um, okay, let's... God, I got more emails and shit. Ah, oh, lol, he's jealous of you hanging with Ichi. Fire and I had a thing, but it's over and he knows that. What the fuck? Fuck you, Fire. God damn. Remember when Siv and I met up last year in the city for a chiptune show? It was sick! It was totally sick, Dredge Stop. I met I up with Dredge times. once, like, in person. Talking to him didn't feel all that different. I think you're giving me too much credit. I like making you blush. <laughs> oh. Listening to your voice. I like it. Me too. I like talking to you like a lot. about doing that sometimes and I would love that. Whew. Yeah, I got that maxed out snare. Here we go. Here comes the Samsa. Let's see if we can finish this thing off. all those crystals and stuff that stupid EG doesn't like. Crystals are cool, okay. Oh my god. We almost got him. Get him with your, your beams. Yes! Can I call you? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Nervous feelings. Okay, we're gonna get on the phone with Ichi. Blake, what would happen if we met? I think, you know. Tell me. I'd kiss you. So you think we could have sex? Four months later. <sighs> oh boy. <sighs> Teens. Oh boy. All right. So, uh, travel notes. We're making plans. Round trip, JFK, LAX, start of summer break. Some airlines. Don't fly Delta, it's a bad time. 500 ish for flight, food, cab. Ask Becca if you can tell your mom you're staying with her for a week. Oh no. <laughs> Ask Blake if you can stay with him. Yeah, let's just go to LA and stay with someone we don't really know IRLs. Red weather. Hand on wound up waist, belly button stitched waist, a line of text, waist, waist and blanket softly, waist touching the lightning bolt inside my waist with your hand on it, gasp at hand, it crumbles, soft birthday cake, softer hands, frosting, buttercream, so sweet, and your hands full with the key on my necklace, the summer 
glazed with one cool fan blowing on my wrists and your hands closing, wanting to close like windows, umbrellas closing. Today's over now, we miss the sun setting, blocked by a window, trees, and by your hands on my eyes. I want your whole wanting, the way an ampersand curls is how I want you. As much as the barnacle prefers its rock, I prefer you, wet as the ocean's rock, at Crane's Beach with waves all over it. Off the coast, the Philippines are Australian beaches full of people naked, running. Do they think of me now? More fire than a fire is meant. These poems are getting, uh, these poems are getting adult. Blog 21 draft. I'm discovering some new musicians, making a note here. Thanks to Becca for a lot of these. Blake shared some too. Oh yeah, Animal Collective. Animal Collective in 2009 was the shit. Okay, hi. I've been terrible about updating my old website, so it's on indefinite hiatus. I'm going to try and update this WordPress blog more often. I have so many things to talk about, but I don't have enough time to write it all down. Between Blake, Valtimir, and school, I don't have much time alone these days to take care of my websites. Blake and I are doing well, though, so it's worth it. Actually, my friends are pretty jealous I spend so much time with him in Valtimir on the phone or whatever. Becca was like, of course, now you have a guy, just ignore me. That hurt my feelings because I haven't been ignoring her. I'm just super busy, and honestly, I want to talk to Blake all the time. I really love him. What does she expect me to do? <sighs> Anyway, I'm in class now, and the professor just got here, so I'm going to stop writing now. Ta-ta. Yeah, we need to update on our... We need to update on our anime list. Okay, let's look at our downloads. Oh, Final Fantasy XI. I played that game. Send to Ichi. Oh, sexy poem for Ichi. Thermal. There's a curiosity in Tang in our lips unbuttoning. I see the outline of a static ship dipping under the shadow of your shoulder. Bunching up my hair in your hand, heat exhaling onto my falling lip, which inhales words to be swallowed. The soft bite of orange pulled in by my back's parabola were hourglass nebula and stellar wind without the sun. To tell our time and the only burn to feel is the pulse of your neck on my palm pressed closer to the blood, consciously. Separated by mere cells, trillions of bits of you wind around me. The ovals of your arms I feel in my waist folding into yours. In and out of my squinted eyes, past stars too far away to see the spiraling gases sighing. To mingle with our sighs and the moisture from our lips evaporating, my back leaving slender, slender trails of sweat on the wall. Space filling curves in a two-dimensional plane, the precise entrance of a continuous move overflowing. Muscles peaked to direct my eyes over your back and into the sharp sky, separated from me by a single pane of glass. Sexy. Whew. And a new hair bow that says happy on it. <sighs> I think I have a problem. I keep panicking. <laughs> All right. 2008. So just some like other old photos. Oh, there's the key on her necklace that she was talking about. Remember in that last poem from, from the, the last sequence? Um, okay, let's see. Let's look at chat log August. Oops, hold on. Not that one. Genies. Okay, there we go. That swimsuit you lent me is cute. I took some pics in it, and Blake said it looked cute. Nice. It was nice to hear that. I've been feeling so gross. Like, I look gross. No, 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 you're not. God, it's no surprise you and Blake get along. You're both so self-deprecating, lol. Yeah, we've been over this. I always end up liking the self-loathing type. I don't get that. I mean, I have the same problem, low self-esteem. It's something we have in common, as weird as that sounds. He understands me in that way. That's good, I guess. Okay. Let's look at new selfies. Okay, hold on. Uh... Let's look at this folder first. Nina, your eyes are enormous. You look like an anime character. And your outfits are great. Dorm lol. Rad shorts, though. So these are all those old photos that we saved. Ooh. Sexy photos for and from Blake. Cheese Blake. 
Look at you, sexy man, with your shirt off, finally. <sighs> Took you long enough, bro. Nina, your hair game is strong. Oh, that's the bathing suit that she lent us that Blake said we looked cute in. So that's what we're sending Blake. Compare and contrast. Sort of neutral face. Not particularly like a self objectifying. But then we send like just photos of parts of ourselves to him. Interesting. Um, okay. I think we've seen everything on this particular desktop. No, there's a couple more here. Okay. Ah! <laughs> LOL Comic Con. Yes, LOL Comic Con for sure. Who's this guy? That guy's way more handsome than Blake. This guy looks chill. I'd hang out with that dude. Good outfit. Sweet. Yeah, friends. Okay, let's do it. Let's go and check our email and then we'll... Oh, here we go. Yo, I just got back from visiting NorCal. Sorry I couldn't call you all week. I missed talking with you, but my friend kept me busy. You told me to get a pic, so here it is. Warning, it's dumb. See you online later. Shirtless water drinking, bro. Yeah. Here's me, enjoying a water, being a bro. All right, Blake. Um, visited my parents. It's pretty, but New York City is so much more fun. Yes, that is true. All right, back to the game. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the question. Someone had asked, how would a guy send a self-objectifying picture? As there's a very fine line between uh, that and just like being nude. Yeah, so this is how we, we look at, um, like women and men culturally in North America are looked at differently. Um, and so the way that we portray ourselves is uh, modified by uh, the way society sees and portrays us uh, as well. So the kinds of pictures that we take of ourselves um, reflect that, reflect where we come from. Um, how does a dude take a sexy pic? That's a good question, and and it, sexiness is so variable, right? Like, you can take photos of yourself that you think are sexy, or you can take photos for someone else because they encourage a certain type of sexiness in you. Uh, it depends on who you're sending them to. If you're just taking sexy pics for yourself, of yourself, then, man, just do whatever makes you feel like a sexy person. Uh, okay. Um, so, incoming call from Ichi. Morning. What's up? Not much. You really want to do a Heesey run? Isn't it like 5 a.m. there? Yeah, I've been up for hours. It's chill. Wow. <laughs> do you ever sleep? Okay, Rusher. Rex is pissed at you, lol. God damn it, why? You said the other day that you'd think about living on the West Coast a little. Like, me? Yeah. Just jealous you never talked to her anymore. You're always so with Ichi. Cool. You could come hang out with me and my oh. real life friends. Sad face. Austin and Andrew? Yeah. We could just go chill at the beach or something. <laughs> Do you think they'd like me? Don't you get along with everyone? <laughs> Maybe. Her and I still chat all the time. What's up? I got kind of an internet boyfriend. Sib, stop ignoring me. What's up? I wasn't ignoring you. I was looking at your Facebook. <laughs> Guy for guy, come on. Rusher told me he thinks you're cute. What? Lol. And I used to like him, Heart. What happened? Yeah, I did a while ago. Lol, I know what's going on with you and Ichi. What are you talking about? Everyone knows, Lol. Stop trying to hide it. Oh, guild drama. Knows what? Lol, what are you going off about? Uh, 
The people in my guild are strange. Whoa. The zone. Okay. Yeah, um I mean it's it's being pointed out like yeah, let's let's not be too like harsh on these characters. They're they're both really inexperienced. Like they're making they're making all kinds of sort of stumbles towards trying to connect with another person. It's not like they're being like malicious or or like evil necessarily. Like, don't, don't look at it that way. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking back at the experience of some semi-fictional teenager-ish people, <laughs> youths, with the experience of having been through this and, and learned a lot, right? Like, I, I was a total piece of shit when I was 23. Like, everybody has struggles with figuring out their identity and figuring out how to relate to people. Um, it's just, you know, because we have this experience, we're able to look back and to, to critique these behaviors so that we can talk about why people might behave that way or what inspires people to, um, you know, to interact in the way that Ichi and, and uh, Sybil are. Um. Oh, he kind of rejected me. That's a shame. Email. Another canoe flight. Let something that costs less than four hundred dollars. Flights have gone up. Oh, flights sold out. Shit. Never mind. Seriously though, what if we met? You want to? Yeah. I mean, you told me that you love me. I love you too. I want to meet you in person. You two totally fucked. What? We've never even met in person. Oh no. New shirt, lol. I mean, Andrew so, WK is pretty cool. What do you think? About what? Anything. I want that. But I also want no relationship whatsoever. Uh, I can be single forever, it's comfortable. I mean, okay. I. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Relationships are attempts at living in normalcy. I guess so. I'm antisocial, so those normal relationships don't fit my lifestyle. You're the leader of our ampule. How can you be antisocial? I don't know, I just don't think relationships are comfortable. You've never been in one, so... Where did How you go, you know that? Where did you go? I don't like leaving my security zone. I'm less antisocial and more anti-connections. Yeah, come help me. Then... How did this happen? <laughs> I really like how protective um, chat is of, of uh, Nina slash me, like in this game. Okay, let's look at my email here. Your friend Kate is really hot. Yeah, she's pretty, lol. Her friend Kate is pretty hot. Are you okay? Why weren't you in class? Yeah, why wasn't I in class? Also, it was pointed out that it's not so much that the flight went up necessarily, but that our tolerance for how much we're going to be willing to spend to meet Blake uh, me maybe has. You told me two months ago, and you've been telling me that every day since. How have we been talking on the phone every night? Like, we're... I don't know. Hence my confusion. Why are you being like this? Yeah, exasperated sigh. Since when were you confused? I don't know. <sighs> Blake. Blake. I really care about you. You really care about you too, Blake? I think we need to see each other in person. Is he gonna get all weird about this now? I do want to be. This can work. Yeah. If we 
we met, though. Do you want to, like... Why is really he trying to get with you now? I mean... He rejected as a strong. Are we gonna kiss and make out? All that stuff? <sighs> I mean, I don't want you to come hang out with me if we're not gonna, like, do stuff. I think so. Me too. Okay, maybe he's a little less certain than it seems. That's good. I mean, at least they're both uncertain. The power differential doesn't feel as strong. God. What do you think about? Mushroom. We've talked about this before. Attracted to you, physically. Yeah. I'll always like him in a way, but I can never really tell if he's actually into me. I couldn't help it. I'd want to kiss you. Yeah. And whatever stuff. I don't know. Oh, stuff. I he's all it. uncomfortable. I think the same thing. I like it when when she's like a little bit like more aggressive. I should tell you. Because it puts him on the defensive and kind of like evens things out a little. I haven't either. Wait, really? Are you serious? I haven't. So we. Uh. I. I told you relationships are weird for me, so I've just never been in this situation. Yeah, I totally get it. It's crazy to me though, because you're like super hot. I'm a skinny ghost, dude. Girls do not want to fuck me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nina. <laughs> Too real. <laughs> well, roll credits. I'm out. That's it. <laughs> wow, that sucks. <laughs> uh. Chad is exploding right now. That's so great. <laughs> we barely chat anymore. I'm all disoriented. No, I'm not Blake. <laughs> the biggest subtweet of 2015. <laughs> It was Earth all along. Oh god, things are happening. Nina, I reviewed your poem. I wanted to send you a note that I really enjoyed it. I hope you will share it in class tomorrow. Yeah, that was my, my poem. It could happen. Well, we could have sex for the first time together. Do you not like that idea? Physically, yes. Mentally, I'm not sure how to deal with that feeling. What do you mean? I'm used to immersing myself in this game. I don't like thinking about dealing with people in person. If you want to meet me... I know, I'd have to figure out how to be... Uh, in all seriousness, that was a, um... Normal uh, it was, to <laughs> it was totally a coincidence. We love each other. That's not just in the game. I rely on the game. I feel comfortable with my relationships inside this game. I don't know about real life. I like that we're okay, seeing like a more vulnerable nervous. side of him. Um, this conversation is very different than what we've seen so far. I'm not nervous. I'm just not used to this. It's weird for me that I like you this much. <laughs> I'm really glad you feel that way. That I feel weird. Like, the tone of her voice is different. Like me. Have you noticed that? I told you, Blake. I love you. Nina. 
yeah. I just keep thinking about uh, isolating you from everyone that you know. It would be great. I want that. I don't want a relationship, but I want you. I don't know. Please, let's meet and figure this out. We need to talk face to face. She'd believe you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can stay with me. I live in a dorm here, so you could just stay, like, here. Okay. So, you really mean it. We're doing this. Yes. I don't know what will happen. I have no expectations. I think it'll be good. We've been talking for a long time. Oh, come on, I bet he was good. Is he bossy in bed like he is IRL? Okay, I'm sh I'm shipping Blake and this guy. We should. Yeah. I know. Whew. Meeting someone in real life for the first time and just like hanging out in their house and staying with them in their dorm. That's not a nerve wracking idea. I like the aesthetic of this boss. It reminds me of um, Madoka, uh, like the witches, quite a lot. Ugh, also, this. Eh, eh. <laughs> the mouse clicking is just such a genius uh, addition. Does she play Valtimiri? No, she's not in the online games. Oh, hotness level decreased. Like, I love you. Silence. Oh, Blake. There we go. One month later, September 18th, 2009. Hugs. He's way cuter in video. <laughs> I like that this is sort of the like webcam shot, that it's all grainy and it's like from the point of view of her desk. Man, if the Witcher can get away with it, we're sure as fuck allowed. 
Do you think we'll ever see each other again? May not. I had fun, but... I fucked up. What? What do you mean? I shouldn't have come. I knew I shouldn't. Blake. Ah, jeez. What are you talking about? I don't love you. What? We can chat. I've got to catch my plane. I'll see you online tomorrow. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> wow. 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 First love is a very confusing thing, and sometimes it really hurts, but I'm glad I had mine with you. Oh my god, we don't even get, like, any, any clo- that's so cruel. Nina, you're cruel. That's evil. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That was so interesting, like... Watching the, um, watching the power, like, shift, because, like, it's not, it's not clear-cut. It's not like, he's just like, we should just have a bunch of sex, because I would love to have a sex with you, because I'm a sex guy. Like, he was like, I'm not really sure, this feels, like, uncomfortable for me. Um, and then she pushed, and he was like, oh, I don't know, and then he was like, okay, that was a mistake. And it feels really harsh because there's this, there's this like narrative about, um, about like, you know, the way that power structures work in like heterosexual relationships. And I think this game tweaked that a little bit. Um, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, this like really uncomfortable, attempt for for two people that like obviously we're having a hard time connecting and and like understanding that's awesome based on the sylph server in final fantasy online uh trying to connect and like understand each other and trying to like fit in um you know like sybil nina whatever really wanted to exist inside this narrative of like being a person who has a boyfriend and like being in love and Then Blake, like, he, we go back and forth on him between being like, I'm not a person who, um, uh, I'm not a person who, uh, like, feels comfortable meeting other people in real life, this feels uncomfortable. Um, watching the, the pressure change, uh, through the game is a, a surprise to me, I think. Like, in a lot of ways, um, it's, it's better, I think, that we didn't get this clear, like, aggressor, pursued kind of relationship between the two of them that it really was just this kind of complex uh mess for the for the two of them there's no there's no um we can't we can't talk about how a particular gender behaves we're not talking about men are this way and women are this way we're talking about um narratives in society we're talking about the way that people sometimes feel pressured to behave in a gendered space uh, where if you identify as a man or a woman society has a tendency to pressure you to behave according to its narrative um, I think that it's not about um, it's not about saying like you know, he was behaving like a man, or she was behaving like a woman, or they were behaving in certain, uh, you know, certain ways. There, there's certainly a gendered uh, narrative there, but I think it's interesting looking at the places where the game varies from that, where we see a slightly different version of, of that narrative. Um, we have sort of traditionally male and female behaviors, but they, they aren't all taking place in the male and female characters of the game, in the, the women and, and men in the game. Um, I think the thing to remember here is that they're both 
inexperienced. They're both uh, uncertain and taking awkward steps and making mistakes. Um, there's no like bad guy uh, in the uh, in the game, um, and they they both made decisions that maybe um, created a space that wasn't 100% safe for the other character, but. Um, it's it's really interesting to see the way that those things are highlighted explicitly or implicitly. Um, it's about yeah, it's about making um, making connections or trying to, and and stumbling through that. And sometimes people are uncertain. Sometimes people make mistakes. Um, but like like Nina says at the end of the game, love is a painful thing sometimes, and we all get to define what love is for ourselves and for the relationships that we're in. And sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it's it's a harder thing than it is a benefit. Um, and I think that there's so many different stories about what sex is, uh, what love is, um, that this is just one of them, right? And and the, the thing about this, and I think we, we talked about this at the very beginning and all the way through, the thing about this narrative is that it's, based on a real thing. So, you know, we can't, it's easy to dismiss fiction sometimes to say that's not what real life is like, but some part of this game, a big part, I think, uh, was real um, for, for Nina, right? Like we can't say this is not a real thing because it's a person's real life. Um, I think it's fascinating. Uh, I think that games like this let us take a look at something that games don't really cover a lot of the time. You know, we um, we can talk about games in a way that we couldn't before, and this is what's so valuable about um, smaller titles, right? I I really enjoyed this experience. I like this game. I think it's it's. It's a valuable game to exist. I think it's incredibly brave of uh, of Nina to have made this game. Um, I'm I'm so like proud of her for making a game that's so autobiographical. I'm terrified of that stuff. Like I, oh geez, I I I like burn down my past life. Um, I could never make a game like this. And so seeing people do things that terrify me uh, always instills a sense of. Uh, pride uh, in me. Um, it treated love and, and sex in the framework of making interactions with another person online uh, in a way that I felt was nuanced and, and respectful um, and fascinating. Uh, yeah. So thank you for, for watching. Um, Nina, thank you for making the game. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. I hope that you, uh, you found it interesting to, uh, to watch.